For the first time in Camden County, a school district has adopted a policy that allows school nurses to carry and deploy the anti-overdose drug naloxone if someone in the building is in need of it. Naloxone, also known as Narcan, is a medication used to block the effects of opioids. Arnita Barati has the details. Narcan saved my life. You cannot recover if you die. You cannot do it. If I was in the ground, all the good things that have happened in my life would not have happened. In August of 2012, Stevens Marito overdosed on heroin in a North Camden porta potty. Thankfully, a Camden City police officer brought him to the hospital where he received Narcan, the very reason he is alive today. I know numerous people that have overdosed and passed away at 16 in this in this actual city of Runnymede. Today, he helps run a restaurant with his sister and serves as a positive role model to others who are in recovery. He says he's thankful for the second chance at life, and now thanks to the Camden County Addiction Awareness Task Force, others might get that chance as well, beginning with the Black Horse Pike Regional School District. We are hopeful that we never have to use it. But our school nurses are trained to use the medication. We currently have the medication on our facility. The Black Horse School District includes Triton Regional, Highland Regional, and Timber Creek Regional. Thanks to the policy, every single school nurse inside of those high schools carry the medication and can deploy at any time if a student is experiencing an overdose. Although everyone hopes the Narcan kits will never have to be used, they will be available and hopefully help lower the statistics on the state's drug epidemic. In 2016, Camden County had a total of 597 overdoses which resulted in 191 deaths. In 2015, we had 631 overdoses, which resulted in 167 deaths. We have to keep raising awareness, keep trying to link those in need of treatment with treatment. So every event, every positive step helps in that process. I'm Nina Barati for SNJ Today.